I always felt so comfortable learning. I was a great student in terms of just devotion to reading. I was a literature student, still am. I'm sort of back to my roots now. And uh, that was, I loved it. I just loved school. And it was, um, and I always wanted to go back in between babies and um, even when I was, you know, really pregnant and I was teaching as a graduate student and sitting on a desk and I had students just glaring at my stomach. I think they're afraid they're going to have to deliver me in the classroom. But I felt so comfortable. I always did with higher education and the values of higher education. America is what it is because of higher education and people who believe in it and believe that education should go to everyone, no matter what their ethnicity or their color or their gender. Uh, finally, we have gotten to that point, I think, in our society that our beliefs are much more equal for everyone than they were previously. And I like that. That was part of what higher education taught you and what you were involved with. It was always a diverse community, probably more diverse than most other communities in our country. And again, in the 60s, women were teachers or nurses. You know, they didn't much aspire to other careers. And I had a director and some faculty when I was doing a master's degree that said, you've got to go for a PhD. And I said, why? They said, because you're really smart and you need to do it. And we'll help you um, find a faculty position after you're finished. So we actually did do that. We went to Ohio University when I finished my PhD. As a faculty member, our kids were seven and three. It meant, and uh, Mike went as an English teacher in high school, and we agreed that he would go get a PhD there. One of the reasons we chose it was that the PhD he wanted to get was given at Ohio University.